हेलो वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ सर्वर वर्चुअलाइजेशन व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज कंप्यूट वर्चुअलाइजेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ लुक एट आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ फिजिकल डेटा सेंटर आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ वर्चुअल डेटा सेंटर एंड रिसोर्स शेयरिंग फ्रॉम फिजिकल टू वर्चुअल व्हिच इंक्लूड्स सीपीयू मेमोरी डिस्क एंड नेटवर्क इफ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फिजिकल डेटा सेंटर वी हैव मल्टीपल फिजिकल सर्वर्स आर रनिंग an operating system and applications are running on top of that physical servers and those servers are further tasked with the ethernet switches and fiber channel switches and ethernet switches are further extended to the l2 switches and l3 switches and also tasked with the ip based storage whereas fiber channels is basically used for providing the storage facility which is further tasked with the fc storage and fc ou storage in a virtual data center which enable us to have multiple virtual machines running on the fewer hardware and that hardware running as a physical server is further tasked with the ethernet switch and fiber channel switch which is further extended to the storage and network devices and those physical network devices and storage devices provide the virtual resources and physical resources to the virtual machines we'll talk about the physical architecture and virtual architecture in a physical architecture we have physical server running on the bottom on top of that on each physical server we have single operating system running on that operating system we have applications are running and physical servers have four resources which includes cpu memory network card and hard drives in the same situation if we have virtual architecture we have physical server which is running on the bottom layer and that is attached with the physical resources which includes cpu ram network and disk and that physical resources which is attached on the physical server also known as host is further extended and share the resources to the virtualization layer and virtual machines get those resources in the form of virtual resources virtual machine is also known as guest operating system and guest machines on that guest machine we have virtual nic virtual cpu virtual networking and virtual disk we'll look into this how that sharing works we have virtual cpu and physical cpu on physical architecture we have physical cpu tasked with a server and operating system which is installed on that particular server assumes that this particular resource is only for me but that is not the case in virtual architecture in virtual architecture we have physical cpu which is attached on the physical host and using the virtualization layer it allocates to the virtual machines in form of virtual cpu so the same physical cpu is allocated to the multiple virtual machines which will further work as a virtual server the maximum number of virtual cpu on the virtual machine depends on the number of logical cpu on the physical host and the type of operating system which is installed on the virtual machine and how we'll calculate the logical cpu we have physical socket and cores available on a server so logical cpu is physical socket into core and if we have hyper threading enable the amount of logical cpu will get twice we'll see in the next example if we'll talk about specific to the vmware then vmware supports up to 120 virtual cpu on one virtual machine and we can configure according to the requirement and performance metrics so here is the example of logical cpu on this particular virtual machine we have one socket and four cores then we have total logical processor available as a four but hyper threading is enable then it has twice the value which is now eight virtual memory in the same scenario we have physical host where we have physical memory available an operating system which is installed on that particular physical server assumes that that particular memory is only assigned to me but that is not the case in virtual architecture the physical memory is allocated further to the multiple virtual machine 
and sharing the resources with the multiple virtual machine in a form of virtual memory. And you can also do the over commitment. If you have 8 GB memory on physical hardware, you can further allocate those 8 GB memory to the multiple virtual machines. But keep in mind that utilization will not go beyond the 8 GB memory. So the maximum number of virtual memory depends on the maximum memory available on a physical host for allocation and also on a virtual machine compatibility settings and the type of operating system which is running on the virtual machine. And if we'll talk about the VMware, it supports up to 6 GB virtual memory on one virtual machine. And we can configure according to the requirement and performance what we need. Virtual networking. Now we will talk about the physical architecture. We have physical server where we have physical network adapters attached and we have operating system. That physical network adapter assign those all bandwidth and all resources to that particular operating system. But in the virtual architecture, if we will talk about the virtual network adapter, we call it VMNIC which is attached on a physical host. Now that VMNIC is further attached with the virtual switch in a virtualization layer and that is further assigned to the virtual machine in the form of VNIC which is also known as virtual NIC. So the maximum virtual NIC can be assigned to the one virtual machine is 10 VNIC and vSwitch which is available on a virtualization layer it establishes the communication between the host and virtual machine. So whatever networking you require on the virtual machine and host that will be performed via virtual switch. And virtual switch also supports the segregation of network using the VLAN and VXLAN. Moving to the virtual storage. So the virtual storage we have if we'll talk about a specific to the physical architecture we have physical host which is attached to the volumes and physical storage and that operating system will use that resource for that particular server. If we'll talk about your laptop, you have single hard drive attached to your laptop and that is only for the use of that particular laptop. You cannot use that disk to the another laptops. But that can be possible if you have a virtual architecture. In a virtual architecture, we have shared storage. Single storage can be shared, single disk can be shared with the multiple virtual machines. So we have multiple physical hosts available in the virtual architecture, which is attached with the centralized shared storage. And that storage is allocating the disk capacity to the virtual machine in form of VDisk which is also known as virtual disk. So the files which you are storing that will be stored in a centralized storage and the same storage can be used for assigning the disk capacity for the multiple virtual machines. So here if you had a laptop which was using only single specific disk that same disk in a virtual architecture is being used by multiple virtual machines. So virtual machine files store in uh, shared storage and if we'll talk about the VMware it supports block label storage and also supports FC, FCOU and iSCSI. So that's all about the resource sharing and the architecture of a virtual and server virtualization. Now we are moving to the VMware vSphere which is the main product to provide the functionality of server virtualization. We'll see the features and how it works and how we can use the VMware vSphere to utilize the server virtualization in our environment. So stay tuned for the next video which is for VMware vSphere overview. Thank you.